Constant Contact is an easy to use email marketing tool that lets you create amazing email campaigns for your business. You can grow your audience, you can manage your contacts, manage your social medias and set up amazing automations as well. To get started, click start trial. Then enter your email, your password, your first name, last name, organization name, and your phone number and hit get started. And next you will come to this page where it's going to say that your account has been successfully created. And we have a free trial right now, which you can use to send up to hundred emails. You can create landing pages as well, customizable email templates, and you can create social posts as well. So I will click go to my account. Then it's going to ask you a few questions so it can get to know you. So I will click, let's go. Enter your business name. So we're going to put that as broccoli. Then enter how familiar are you with the constant contact. So I will click I have used it before. What type of business are you? So I will put that as restaurant. Then enter what you're trying to do in the first 30 days. So enter the information over here. Click next. And if you have a list of contacts, so I will click sort of next. Then if you have a website, so I'll put that as no. And if we sell the products online, so no. And then I will click yes, take me to dashboard. If you don't want to do any of this, you can also click cross over here. All right, so this is what our interface would look like. So the first step is to verify your email address. So I will click verify email and then I will send the verification link to my email address. Then I will come to my email address and click verify email. And now you can see my verification has been successfully completed. But first thing I want to show you is to click over here, then select my account. And I want you to modify your organization details over here. So I will click edit and you can add your brand or contact info. And this would just make the process of sending out emails and setting that up a lot more easier. So to add my logo, click add logo, then click library and click upload and browse your computer to upload. Or I do have my logo over here. So I'm just going to drop it like that. And then I will click upload files. And perfect, so our logo has been updated. So I'm gonna select it and then I will click insert. And that's really nice, looks really good. And for the organization name, I'm gonna put that as broccoli. You can also put in your organization phone number if you have one in the website. Uh, also, you need to put in the address of your company. So I'll put that as Canada, Ontario, King Street, one, two, three, one, two, three, King Street, enter the town, Toronto. All right, so that looks good. We're going to hit save. You can also scroll through it and you can also add an extra layer of security to your account by clicking setup. So this is important to do just to ensure uh, your account stays nice, safe and secure. Now, let's say you're working with the team and you want to add more of your teammates into this account. So you will go under manage user section, then click add a new user. Then over here, enter the email address of your teammate and then select the role. So whether they are an account manager or they are the campaign creator and click send invite. Once you click send invite, they have to accept it from their email address and they will be added into this account. The next thing I want to show you guys is the contacts tab. So when I click over here, I can add my existing audience into this account. You can click add contacts or you can click create list. I will click create list. So I will give this list a name and I will put their regulars and I will click save. So once we have our list, the next step would be to add contacts. So I will click add contacts. So there are multiple ways you can do that. You can uh, create a new contact, add one at a time. You can type or paste the contacts. You can upload the file. You can also use various integrations that they offer and you can upload unsubscribed emails as well. So for this tutorial, we are going to click upload from file and the accepted file format is mentioned over here. So it has to be in one of these file formats. I do have my CSV file I just downloaded. So I am going to drop it right there. 
So as you can see, the system automatically match the first name, the last name, the company name, the street address. And if anything is not right for certain reasons, so let's say if this is a street address, uh, but if you feel like this is not right and you want it to have some other tag, you can click the field section over here and just select the one of your liking. And then we also have three unmatched columns. So I'm just going to put that as skip unmatch and I will click continue. And then you have to read through this, make sure all of these contacts gave consent to be a part of the list. So I will click got it, then select the permission. So then you're going to click upload and that's it so as you can see 50 contacts have been imported into my account we also have a reporting tab over here which is where you're going to have all the analytics and the trends just to understand how your emails have performed over a certain period of time so next we will click campaigns and we will create our very first campaign so i will click create and over here we have different options so you can create emails you can also set up email automation social posts ads event survey pages landing pages website websites and stores for this tutorial i will click email and next you will come to this page where you will see so many different templates that you have to choose from you can also click layout if you want to work with a certain layout of your choice you can also click custom code over here if you want to code a template or you can click brand templates and when you do that all you have to do is enter the website address once you do that it's going to create a really nice template based on the images and the color and the overall aesthetics of the website so i like the anniversary discount template so i will click over here and then you will come to this page and first thing we're going to do is give a name to this template. So I'll put that as new product offer broccoli safe. That looks good. And then the next thing I want to do is click over here and I'm going to enter my subject line. So our task is that we are working for a company named Broccoli, which is like a vegetarian restaurant. And we have to create an email campaign informing the audience that we have a new menu item, which is launching very soon, known as Broccoli Rice. So I want my subject line to be really nice, really catchy. So I'll put that as Broccoli Rice is here you need to try it so in the email settings you're going to have your subject line your pre-header and it's very important that you set that right set it very strategically and i wrote a subject line that says broccoli rice is here you need to try it and if you want you can also click a smiley add a certain emoji just to make it more creative so i'll select a two heart emoji over here because i think it looks really good you can also personalize it meaning the first name of the person will be reflected on those emails so you can select over here if you want to add a first name last name email address or anything you want but normally it's the first name and in case if the first name is not available in the contact, you can enter a word or a phrase that can be used. So I'm going to put that as hey. And I'll put that as okay. So this is what it shall look like that broccoli rice is here. You need to try it. Smiley emoji, they just wait. And then I added a pre header that says you need to try the healthy broccoli rice over here. So that gives an overview of the content of the email. Then you can also put the from name. So I put the company name, which is broccoli. If you want to put some other name, you can put that over here as well. You can also select the from address, whether you want it to be sent through your own address or a different company address, you can add it over here. Once the subject line and everything else looks good, you're going to hit the save button. All right, so the left hand side, you're going to see three tabs that says build, images and design. So build is these building blocks that you can add to your design to make it more graphic, to make it more fun. We have images section if you want to upload a certain image into this graphic. We have the design section as well, where you can change the background color, the font style, the buttons, basically design the email the way your brand likes it. So let's design this email. So the idea of this email is that we want to inform the audience about the new broccoli rice we are launching. So first thing I will do is make this logo a bit smaller. And if I want this logo to be linked to my website as well, I can click over here and select web page. 
and then enter the address of my website and click insert so whenever i do that every time somebody click on the logo they will be redirected to the website so i'll put that as www.constantcontact.com for now and i will click insert and i will click done if i want to remove this logo i can also click delete and if i want to replace it i can do that as well so i will click done for now the next thing i would do is add a headline i'm gonna put that as broccoli rice is here with an exclamation mark so once that is okay i added a little copy that says that hey your wait is over you need to try out the rice which is perfect for summer uh, for vegans and vegetarians enjoy the delicious broccoli rice with a zest of lemon juice in it and blah 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 so if that looks good you can edit that as well so you can click the text over here and select the font style so you can choose the font style based on the branding uh, your company is having so we're gonna stick to so we're gonna stick to Lado for now and also I will select this and change the size so if you want it to be a bit bigger or smaller you can do that and also i'm going to select this and change the dimensions as well if you want it to be bigger or smaller you can also select the font style you can also select over here you can also make it bold italics or underline option as well you can change the alignment of this text you can also link this text to a certain web page email document or a landing page or even a phone number you can also insert a greeting tag a contact detail a account detail or you can view this as a web page as well and then if everything looks good you're gonna click done so the next thing i want to do is remove this image so i will click over here and i will click replace and then i will click library and then you will click upload if you want to upload an image i also have an option to collaborate this platform with canva so i can click create in canva then i will click let's create so i'm gonna go under the photo section over here and i will click this image of broccoli rice because i think it looks really nice really pretty and i'm gonna edit this image and remove the background then i will click apply then i'll position this image in the center and then i will click publish and as you can see our image has been published in constant contact from canva so if you want to integrate it with canva really good option as well and if you want to edit it you can click the pencil icon over here so i will click insert and perfect that looks really good and i'm just going to scale down the dimension of this image I think that should be okay and then I will click done so the next thing I want to do is remove this block so I will click over here click settings click delete and instead of that I want to add a button that says shop now so I will click the button and I will drop it over here then I'm gonna enter a text that says shop now Okay, so that looks good and I also added the name of the company and the website address. The social links are okay for me. The next thing I want to show you real quick is that if you also want to add a navigation bar, you can click this box over here and drop it right there. So you can enter things like menu, shop and so on and eventually you can link it to a web page so if somebody wants to just like shop and browse through the products on your website they can do that as well i'll click undo because i don't want to do it we also have a layouter which is a really nice tool so if i just drop it right there i can add a really nice image over here i can add my heading my copy and just make it more creative i don't really want to do that so i'll remove it so now that my content is ready the next thing i want to work on is the design so i will click design tab over here and first thing i would do is select the outer background i want it to be like a really nice green color and then i can also click over here and add a certain pattern to it just to make it more nice and fun you can also add your own custom uh, pattern if you want by uploading the image by clicking over here so i don't really like a pattern so i'll click no pattern i'll go back so next we have the inner background so i'll keep that as white and then under the button section you can also select the color for the button so i want it to be nice and green so that looks good and also for the text i want it to be later text like that and i'm just gonna make the text a bit bigger it should be good okay. 
The next thing I want to do is select this text color and make it nice and green. All right, so that looks good. Our ad is looking really nice. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to change or set the social icons. So when I click edit, I will be shown few social icons that I can choose from. Uh, and also you can click over here whether you want it to be like a square, a speech bubble, a silhouette or a circle. I like circle, so I'll stick to that and I will select this style. If you want a different style, you can play around with that. Next we have social pages. So this is where you can set social links. So you can put the link of your Facebook account, your Twitter account, your Instagram account as well. If you use any other platforms like LinkedIn, YouTube, you can add them over here as well. You can also select over here if you want your social icons to be large, medium, small, anything you want. And also you can set the spacing uh, between these social icons by pressing this button up and down. Whether you want the social icons to be placed on the left, the center or the right, you can play around with that. If everything looks good, click done. Next, we have the footer section. And when you click that, you can edit your organization name, your address, your contact information and click insert. All right. So now that our design is complete, it's looking really good. I will click preview and test and I can also send a test email to my colleagues or to my teammates just to see what they think of it or I can click continue and then select your email list. So I want this email to be sent to all the regulars out there. Then make sure the campaign info is correct. And if everything looks good, you're gonna hit send now or you can click over here if you want to schedule it for a later date. But that's an upgraded version, so we are not gonna do that right now. I can also click preview just to see how my email would look like on desktop and also on the mobile screen. It's very important to see how your email looks on the mobile screen because there's so many people, um, you know, using mobile phone more than they would use their laptop. So you want to make sure that everything looks nice and perfect. So that's it. And that's how you can create an email campaign using constant contact. And when I click the campaign section, I can see my campaign right over there. If I want to edit it, I can click edit and go back into the system. I also want to show you guys the sign up forms, which is a really great tool that you can use to create landing pages, you know, the text to join messages, you can create a WordPress sign up form and so much more. You also have a website and store section. So whether you want to build your website, uh, your logo, your social post, you can do that as well. When it comes to pricing, they have two plans. One is for digital marketing. The other one is for sales accelerator, which is their CRM tool. In terms of digital marketing, they have the core plan and the plus plan. Core is $13 per month. Plus is $59 per month. And over here, you can have more detail in. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. All the links are mentioned in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to Creative Cuddle to watch more of such videos and I shall see you guys in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye.